Hi students, my name is Oladili. I'm your physics tutor. In this lesson, we shall be looking at more calculations on heat energy, most especially on measurement of heat energy. More standard questions, numerical questions on measurement of heat energy. So I have two standard questions here. One on linear expansivity, and the other question will be on the specific heat capacity. Let's look at the questions. Question one, an iron rod is 1.58 meters long at zero degrees Celsius. What must be the length of a brass rod at zero degrees Celsius? If the difference between the lengths of the two rods is to remain the same at all temperatures. Question two, a piece of copper of mass 300 grams at a temperature of 950 degrees Celsius is quickly transferred into a vessel of negligible thermal capacity containing 250 grams of water at 25 degrees Celsius. If the final steady temperature of the mixture is 100 degrees Celsius, calculate the mass of water that will boil away. We are given the specific capacity of copper as 400 joules per kilogram per Kelvin, specific capacity of water as 4.2 times 10 to the power 3 joules per kilogram per Kelvin, that is 4,200. Then the latent heat of vaporization of water, 2.26 times 10 to the power 6 joules per kilogram. Let's take these questions one after the other. Question one talks about the linear expansivity of two different metals, an iron rod and a brass rod. We're talking about iron and brass in this case. We are given the, what are the given quantities in this question? Number one, we are given the original length of the iron rod as 1.58 meters. And the temperature of iron at this level is zero degrees Celsius. Let's take the two together. First, we have the iron, and next, we have the brass. For the iron, we are given the original length, the original length of the iron as 1.58 meters. The original length of the brass, we, we are not given in the question. The original temperature, the temperature of iron, zero degrees Celsius, and that of brass, zero degrees Celsius. We are also given the linear expansivity, linear expansivity, the linear expansivity alpha for iron as um, 1.2, 10 to the minus five per Kelvin. And the linear expansivity for brass, linear expansivity for brass, linear expansivity for brass, alpha for brass as 1.9, 10 to the minus five per Kelvin. For iron, 1.2, 10 to the minus five per Kelvin. And for brass, 1.9 times 10 to the minus two uh, minus five per Kelvin. The question asks us to get the original length of silver. If the difference between the length of the iron and the brass rod is to remain the same at all temperatures. The difference in length. Now, the difference in length here talks about L2 minus L1. That is, the final length minus the original length. Let's go back to the formula. The formula for linear expansivity that for the coefficient of linear expansion, alpha is L2 minus L1 by L1 theta, measured in per Kelvin. This is the original formula. The difference in length talks about the, the expansion, the expansion, L2 minus L1. So if we have L2 minus L1 as the subject, becomes alpha L1 theta. So I want to look at alpha L1 theta for iron and alpha L1 theta for brass, which 
must remain the same. They must be the same. We have to equate the difference in length. Difference in length for brass must be equal to the difference in length for iron. Putting that into the formula, alpha L1 for iron, for iron, must be equal to alpha for brass, L1 theta for brass. The difference must remain the same at all temperatures. At all temperatures here means we have the same temperature. So I can eliminate the temperature. Now, putting the values, the given values from the question into this formula, putting the values from the question into this formula and getting the length of brass, we are told that the difference in length must remain the same at all temperatures. So the temperature we go because we have the same temperature and comparing alpha L1 for iron being equated to alpha L1 for brass. From here, I can determine the L1 for brass. I can make L1 for brass the subject to give alpha ion L1 divided by the alpha for brass. Alpha L1 ion divided by alpha for brass. That is the formula. Now, I want to substitute into this formula. Substituting correctly, Now, substituting into the formula, alpha for ion, L1 for ion, being equals to alpha for brass, and L1 for brass. The temperature has been um, eliminated here because the difference in length must remain the same at all temperatures. We have alpha for ion, 1.2, 10 to the minus 5 per Kelvin multiplied by L1 for iron, 1.58 meters, equals alpha for brass, 1.9, 10 to the minus 5 per Kelvin, then multiplied by L1 for brass. Dividing through by 1.9, 10 to the minus 5, making L1 the subject, 1.2, 10 to the minus 5 per Kelvin, by 1.58 meters, divided by 1.9, 10 to the minus 5 per Kelvin. This takes care of this. The 10 to the minus 5 will go. Multiplying, therefore, 1.2 by 1.58 divided by 1.9 gives the length for L1. Therefore, L1 is about 12.993 meters, which is approximately 1.0 meters. 1.0 meters. That is the length of brass. The length of brass. If the difference in length between the two metals is to remain the same at all temperatures. So the length for brass is approximately 1.0 meter. 1.0 meter. We move to the next question.